Still looking good. Okay. Still have it as mostly okay. sunny. High pressure looking to stay in control. You know, it's a little dicey. It's Tuesday forecasting right. for Monday, but so far looking good. All right. So fingers All right. crossed. We'll keep an yeah. eye on it. What about tonight and into tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow's looking better. Sunshine uh -huh. and hot temperatures return after a seasonably unseasonably cool day today with the clouds in place, the rain continuing throughout the day, but we're still dealing with low clouds and fog settling in across the area. Product of all of that surface moisture. We had the humidity and then of course we had the rain and now we have all that moisture lingering at the surface and now starting to see the skyline being obscured by some of this fog settling in, but winds have shifted now out of the north on a backside of a cold front that dropped through and generated that rainfall today. We're not going to feel any cooler air moving in in, but it will be slightly less humid slightly as we head into the day tomorrow. Storm scan three though showing us that rain has come to an end and really much of the cloud deck has exited offshore as well, but we are dealing with the foggy conditions because we certainly have some moisture to work with. Rainfall totals in Princeton through the day today about an inch and a half. Same case in Dover, same case in Doylestown picking up close to six tenths of an inch of rainfall today in May's Landing. I know another cool day, another rainy day for August. 78 degrees our high temperature in Philadelphia. Philadelphia. That's it. Our normal high temperature would have us at 86 degrees, but temperatures are on the cooler side of average right now. 63 in Mount Pocono, 68 degrees in Allentown of 73 in Atlantic City, still up at 75 in Dover. So we don't have that heat, but we certainly have the humidity, but dew points are starting to now drop off a bit to the north and west. We're still stuck in with that steam factor. The city and points southward with dew points up well up into the 70s, but dew points starting to drop off a bit into the low 60s in the Poconos. But because of all of that moisture around, we are seeing greatly reduced visibilities dealing with quarter mile visibility or near so in Trenton and in Wilmington near zero visibility being reported in Lancaster. One mile visibility in Reading about five miles in Philadelphia, and that's something we're going to have to watch out for throughout the overnight period and into the early portion of tomorrow's commute as well. Areas of fog greatly reducing visibilities. 71 degrees are overnight lows with light winds and then into our Wednesday starting off with that fog, then mostly sunny hot and humid. Yes, high temperatures haven't been in the 90s in Philadelphia since August 1st, and we're not going to deal with much of a breeze to help cool us off wind speeds at only five miles per hour. But conversely, Hurricane Gert is strengthening now a strong category one hurricane winds at 85 miles per hour sitting offshore of the eastern seaboard. It's continuing to turn away, and that's good news because it is strengthening forecast to become a category two as we head into late day tomorrow. So we're not going to see any direct impacts from Gert. Thankfully, but we will see some indirect impacts, especially tomorrow as it makes its closest pass by high rip current risk. So keep that in mind if you're heading down the shore, surf at four to six feet, rough seas and some minor beach erosion is possible. We'll have sunshine through much of the day along the coast, but we could see a sea breeze generated shower later in the day. Otherwise, high temperatures generally in the low to mid 80s, but do watch out for that high rip current risk. Be sure to always swim in front of a lifeguard. Your chance of drowning at a lifeguarded beach is only 1 in 18 million. So do that. Thursday, 84 degrees sunshine, a spotty storm possible later in the day. Then we are getting very steamy into Friday and quite stormy as well. Models playing out the potential for some strong and potentially severe storms as we head late day into Friday and then quieter for the upcoming weekend.